Hi, this is Gleb Bachmutov and I want to show you how to avoid while loops in Cypress while calling site task, which is a Cypress command. Imagine I have a task, let's look at this. It draws a random number and then just returns it. It takes one second to do that. We have a spec. Imagine we call site task just once. Do we expect to get the 7? Oh, we were lucky. We called it once. And it runs 7, so the test passed. If we call this test again, well, we get 2. So, most of the times, this test fails. In fact, it probably has one tenth chance of passing, because 7 is one of the 10 digits. What if we want to call side task repeatedly until we get 7? You might try to write something like this, where you have a while loop while we found is false right we're gonna call side task and if we find seven when we set found to true and we expect found variable to actually be and the while loop to continue so what happens when we call this before we start i want to point out that our side task prints what it returns so let's go to our code and say only run this test Will this work? Actually, it does nothing, which is suspicious, right? And if we look at the terminal, we don't see any message from the task. So the side task isn't called. Why not? Well, think about what it's doing. The found variable is undefined. So the while will keep executing really, really quickly. It keeps adding side tasks into the command first side task, second side task, it just keeps adding them. It never actually executes any of them, because this callback never surrenders control. It keeps iterating and iterating, iterating scheduling thousands, hundreds of thousands of side task commands. So it never actually gets here to stop. So what happens in our uh, test, of run, test runner? Well, it's completely frozen. You notice the timer is not changing. I'm trying to press stop to stop the test. Only way to stop the test is to stop the Electron Browser. So this is not going to work. What will work? Well, let's take this as a basis. Right? And we'll say, so only run this task. And it, we're going to remove crashes. So we're going to remove this for loop. And it will run just once. Right now, this is equivalent to our original test. But execute side task once and check. Well, we are very lucky today. So let's just print the number we get back for clarity. So I'll say... One thing I like doing is using markup bold. Okay, so we got 4 and then we stop. Well, because, well, we don't need this. So what happens if we get 7? Well, we probably want to say, you know, nice. Right? We are done. And return. Well, what happens if we don't draw 7? We want to call site task again. So I'm going to just copy and paste it here. So now our test will draw first number, and if it's not 7, draw it again. Well, if it's not 7, we can do it a couple more times. Okay, here we were successful in the first try, but in general, it's, not, it's going to call site task again and again. Right? So notice this is recursion. We're calling ourselves if the condition is not satisfied. Right? So our condition is compare the variable to 7. And if it's the same, then we stop. Otherwise, we just call ourselves. So the way we want to implement this functionality is by using a function. Let's say current. So in this function, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to call side task. I believe this is the problem. Right? I'm going to remove everything. So the check number has to execute at least once. Right? That's the kickoff the process. It goes here, calls task, check the variable. Now, if it's not 7, well, all we have to do is call ourselves again. Let's see if it works. 9, 4, 9, 0. Two. See how it's calling itself again and again recursively? Because none of the numbers is 7 until we get here, 
we draw a number using side task, we get 7, and we stop the recursion. When we get to the then callback, and if it's 7, we stop adding any more commands to the command chain in Cypress, the test complete. But if we call check number again, well, we schedule one more side task and one more then command, continuing the Cypress test. The Cypress test will continue as long as there are more commands in the chain. If we stop adding commands, boom, the test is done. And that's how you implement a recursive algorithm where we can call Cypress commands.